Hi everyone, Jeremy here. Thanks for watching today. So this is my second coronation themed video and we're going to be making some bunting today. In my previous video I made a miniature wine bottle wrap. The next project will be a cupcake gift box. To make the bunting I've used my Cricut and I've cut out the shapes that I've required. So I've got these two flag ends and then this scalloped shape and they're going to attach together like so. I've already prepared my other pieces and I've also cut the coronation logo to go on this piece. I'll show you the rest shortly but I just wanted to give you some ideas on how to recreate this by hand if you don't have um, similar dies or a cutting machine and you just have a pair of scissors and a ruler or a trimmer. So just set those to one side a moment. So I've cut a piece of four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. So I'm taking a ruler and I'm marking the centre point. So this is two and three quarters. So the centre point is two and three eighths. So I've made a mark there. I've then come up one and a quarter and drawn a line there and then from that edge I've drawn a line to this bottom left hand corner and a line to the right hand corner. So you can cut this piece away now using a, your trimmer, your scissors, craft knife, whatever you're comfortable with and you'll end up the same piece that I have there. You can then readjust the sizing to come down to the next piece. If you want a scalloped edge, um, I've got a circle punch here. This is only half inch, but maybe an inch would be better. So you could cut several of those. And you could attach them like so on the edge there and that will give you a scalloped edge. All depends on how much time you have but you can certainly do those two layers by hand. So I've gone ahead and I've cut all my pieces and they're assembled so I'm just going to do the last one with you. So this is the design that I came up with. I've got a plain one there um, and I've got the coronation logo. I've got the Union Jack spread over three. So this will go on each end and one in the center. And I've also got the same flag design on the opposite side. So it all makes sense as, um, as I put it together. It will be difficult to get it all on camera. So if I can, I'll um, try and insert a photograph of it fully assembled. So I've got my hot glue gun preheating. I'm going to start attaching these together. So the white layer I'm going to use color glue to attach to my blue piece. This is quite a lightweight cardstock so I want to add the color glue to give it some strength. This piece here I'm going to pop up onto some foam. So I've used this foam tape on my other pieces. So I've just place three strips there. I'm just placing that in the centre there. And I'm going to pop my circle up onto some foam also. So I'm going to attach everything together using this red and white twine. I've labelled the back of the bunting so I know which order they're going to go in. So I'm going to leave a generous amount of string on this side and I'm just going to run bead of hot glue along there and 
place my twine into that and next I'm going to take the next piece I'm going to leave about an inch gap so that side is almost dried and I've just added a blob of glue over the top so it just means that it'll be encased in the glue and attached to the cardstock so I'm just going to work my way along now and attach the rest of the pieces so there's my bunting all complete to give a better finish if you have an eyelet punch you could use that uh, I don't so I've opted for the hot glue method just attaching the twine on the back it's a little bit difficult to get it all on camera as I said I'll try and insert a shot of it in its full glory but it's just an idea of something to do for a party as I've said before it doesn't necessarily have to be coronation theme it would work for any party and you don't need a cricket or any dies you could cut this by hand and get the same effect with a trimmer and a punch so I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have you might want to hit the like button leave a comment or consider subscribing to the channel once again thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye